The Symphonia Concertante by Mozart is a very unusual double concerto uh, because uh, it is more of a dialogue between the two players. And that means that it's not only written as a duet, but written for uh, the individuals to really make their own statements. You will definitely hear the violin stated, the viola stated, and then it gets developed on an individual basis. Uh, it was basically the last piece ever written by Mozart for violin. Uh, after that, he really started composing chamber music and, and piano music much more than uh, for violin. He, he really didn't do anything after that. Uh, it's the, the conversational aspect of the Sinfonia Concertante has never been matched by any other composition. The fact that these uh, three movements are so dissimilar, uh, you have the first movement, which is very joyful in, in E-flat major. Uh, the last movement is an E-flat major and even more joyous and spontaneous. But the slow movement, the middle movement, uh, has this somber, somber uh, personality to it. And that is because he lost his mother uh, halfway through. He was composing this and uh, it's in C minor. And uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful and emotional uh, outcries that he's ever composed. And uh, you, you can't fail to be affected by this. It's, uh, it, it really tugs at your heartstrings. Uh, he follows something very somber with uh, something extremely upbeat, and that is the, the character of the last movement, the finale of this piece. And again, it really does separate uh, violin and, and viola and the fact that each one has really a lot of separate type of playing. Um, there's very little together playing, which really accentuates the, uh, the individuality of both violin and viola.